Hello mathematicians. In this video, we are going to see a very nice real analysis problem asked in this CSAR December 2017. It is a part B problem. Okay. Let SBF set consist of functions from R to R satisfying this condition. What is this condition? There exists epsilon greater than 0 such that for all delta greater than 0, whenever two points x and y are of distance at most delta their images will be of distance at most epsilon okay mod x minus y less than delta implies mod f of x minus f of y less than epsilon note that mod a minus b is the distance between a and b in r okay so we can see this condition in terms of distance also then in the options they are saying that this set S yes, consists of continuous functions, uniformly continuous functions, bounded functions, constant functions. Okay. So we're going to prove that this set consists of bounded functions. Okay. And all the remaining options are wrong. So what we do, we will show that we will construct an example of a function that satisfies this condition but that is not continuous therefore this option will be wrong similarly we will show that there is a function satisfying this condition which is not uniformly continuous so if you have an example for continuous function that takes same example alone for uniformly continuous function also similarly you we, we will construct a non constant function satisfying this condition okay so this can be therefore this uh, fourth option is not okay and uh, we will prove that any function satisfying this condition has to be a bounded function that also we will prove uh, theoretically okay it is not that we are eliminating wrong option therefore this option is true no that uh, we we never do that we always prove the right option and we also give example to the wrong option that is our idea okay let's uh, start the solution so if you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button and if you are like my teaching please uh, click the like button if you notice this condition looks like a, a definition of continuous functions but uh, not really because a function is said to be continuous at a point x if for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than 0 such that this condition is satisfied but here the role of for all and there exists is interchanged not that you have there exist here you have for all here but in the definition of continuous function you have for all here you have there exist here okay so if you replace the role of there exist and for all then the then the meaning changes okay therefore we will see that this is not equivalent definition of continuous function let f from r to r suppose there exists epsilon greater than zero such that for all delta greater than zero mod x minus y less than delta implies mod f of x minus f of y less than epsilon okay this is the condition given in the problem. We claim that any function f satisfying this condition has to be a bounded function. Okay. Now, in this condition, we take y equal to 0. What we get? There exists epsilon greater than 0 such that for all delta greater than 0, mod x less than delta implies mod f of x less than epsilon. Now, mod x less than delta means that x belongs to open interval minus delta comma delta. Mod f of x less than epsilon means that f of x belongs to minus epsilon comma epsilon okay here we have this condition for all delta greater than 0 in particular we can take delta to be natural any natural number here okay therefore there exists epsilon greater than 0 such that for all n belongs to n in place of uh, for all delta i take for all n belongs to n this is possible because we can take delta to be positive integer n okay for all n belongs to n x belongs to minus n comma n implies f of x belongs to minus epsilon comma epsilon here itself it is clear that the function has to be a bounded function because every interval minus n comma n is mapped inside fixed minus epsilon comma epsilon okay uh, note that this is true for all epsilon for all n okay so minus 1 comma 1 it's minus 1 comma 1 its image also mapped inside minus epsilon comma epsilon similarly f of minus 2 comma 2 this is also mapped inside minus epsilon comma epsilon so like uh, minus 1 comma 1 minus 2 comma 2 minus 3 comma 3 if you go like this you will get r okay 
so that is here it's in the exam here itself you can conclude that function has to be bounded function but uh, we'll go one more step and we'll prove that the function actually bounded now note that r is equal to union n belongs to n minus n comma n therefore f of r the range of the function f is equal to f of union of n belongs to n open interval minus n comma n okay now i'll give you a simple ex exercise f of a union b equal to f of a union f of b okay see that can be extended for a uh, countable union also f of union n belongs to n a n equal to union n belongs to n f of a n okay so this is the yeah this is the proof you can pass here and you try to understand uh, we will move on so basically f of union equal to u uh, f of union equal to union of f okay so if we use this result we get f of r equal to f of union n belongs to n minus n comma n so you you can take f inside that's what we just saw so union n belongs to n f of minus n comma n but uh, f of minus n comma n is e f of minus n comma n contained in the interval minus epsilon comma epsilon for all n okay so for each n this set is contained in minus epsilon comma epsilon so we get you, this full union is contained in union n belongs to n minus epsilon comma epsilon but this term is independent of n okay so this is nothing but minus epsilon comma epsilon therefore image of the function f is contained in the finite interval minus epsilon comma epsilon that means that the fu function f is a bounded function okay now therefore this option option 3 is uh, true now let's cons let's construct the functions satisfying this condition such that the function is not continuous the function is not a constant function okay so let's see how to do it <clears throat> consider this function f from r to r at the point 0 it takes the value 1 and everywhere else it takes the value 0 okay f of x equal to 1 if x equal to 0 0 if x not equal to 0 we claim that this function f satisfying the condition given in the problem the, so we take epsilon equal to 2 okay note that the uh, pa two possible images of this function is 1 and 0 and modulus of 1 my, distance between 1 and 0 is 1 so for epsilon we want to take any value bigger than this one so i am taking 2 here for this epsilon, epsilon equal to 2, I claim that we have to prove that there exists epsilon greater than 0 such that for all delta mod x minus y less than delta implies mod f of x minus f of y less than epsilon. Less than epsilon. So now for this particular function, I am going to take epsilon equal to 2 and I claim that for all delta, this condition is satisfied. That is what we are going to see. Yeah. So we have to prove our result for every delta so how do you prove a result for every delta we take a arbitrary delta and we prove our result so let delta greater than 0 be arbitrary okay and uh, we assume that mod x minus y less than delta okay we claim we want to show that mod f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon that is what we claim now whatever x and y f of x should be either 0 or 1 okay because that is how we define the function there are only two possible images therefore f of x is either 0 or 1 similarly f of y also either 0 or 1 therefore the possible choices for possible combinations of choices for f of x and f of y are both 0 both 1 and uh, 0 1 and another is 1 0 okay now in each of these cases mod f of x minus f of y is less than 2 okay here the distance is 0 here distance is 1 here 1 here again 0 okay therefore there exists epsilon greater than 0 such that for every delta mod x minus y less than delta implies modulus of f of x minus f of y less than epsilon therefore this function satisfying the condition given in the problem but this function is not a continuous function therefore there are functions satisfying this condition which is not continuous therefore first option is wrong so we just say a function which is not continuous therefore the function cannot be uniformly continuous also 
so the like uh, any functions there are uh, there are functions satisfying this condition which are not uniformly continuous also now the function we just saw like uh, uh, clearly that is not a constant function okay because it takes two values therefore it is not a constant function okay therefore we have one function which satisfy this condition that is also a not that is also a non constant function that is also a non condition non continuous function that is also not uniformly continuous function so with that one example we can eliminate these three options okay okay guys so if you learn something new from this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel so if you want me to do some particular concepts please uh, comment below has suggestion and you type your uh, topic name suppose Cauchy's theorem like that i'll be very happy to make videos on the topic okay okay guys thank you